Hey there, Seb by the Realtor here. Are you a Bay Area homeowner and you're on the fence about selling your home or renting it out? This is a profound decision that you need to make, but if you want to know why renting your home out instead of selling it is such a dumb idea, then you definitely want to watch this video. If you're like most Bay Area homeowners, when you're thinking about making a move, you wonder, should I sell my house or should I rent it out? In point of fact, almost everybody does in fact sell their house. However, there are some good reasons for not doing so. Like if you think that you may return to the Bay Area and you wanna have your house to come back to, that is a very good reason not to sell. Or perhaps for estate planning purposes, if you want to leave your home to your heirs so that they may inherit it and then go in and live in it themselves, that is also a good reason not to sell your home and to continue renting it out for the long term. But if those reasons do not apply, for almost everybody, it makes much more sense to sell your home rather than renting it out. And here are some very good reasons why. First of all, there are always unforeseen and unplanned for maintenance and repair costs. For example, what happens if your home springs a roof leak? That happens very commonly and you may look at getting a new roof. And have you seen how much it will cost to get a new roof these days? It's going to be tens of thousands of dollars and maybe even a hundred thousand dollars or more for a new roof should that come up. And of course you might have a plumbing leak which could cause tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage causing the home to be uninhabitable for many months while repairs are affected. Or what if the furnace goes out or the air conditioning? As any longtime homeowner will tell you, there are from time to time these unforeseen maintenance costs that do crop up and will in fact make it a lot less profitable to own that property as a rental down the line. Another big reason why people decide to sell rather than rent is because they are worried about bad tenants. Listen, many tenants are wonderful people. They pay their rent on time and never cause any problem. Another big reason why people decide to sell rather than rent is because of the fear of bad tenants. Now, a lot of tenants are really great people. They pay their rent on time and never cause any trouble. But a lot of tenants are in fact problematic. They pay their rent late, if at all. They may cause damage to the property. They may smoke in the property when they're not allowed to. They may have pets on the property when they're not allowed to. They may invite other people to come and live with them who are not on the lease, causing further wear and tear on your property. It may be in extreme cases that you have to evict the tenants because they have not paid rent. And during eviction, they're not going to pay rent, even though technically they do. This is money that you will probably never recover. Listen, bad tenants are a real thing and they are a very good reason not to rent your home out for the long term. Another issue that homeowners rarely consider is the vacancy factor. When you are going to be renting out your house, there will be times when somebody is not living in the house and that will be lost rent. A lot of people assume they will be renting their home for 12 months out of every year and that is just not the case. While you may go for many years renting out to the same tenant, when you change tenants over, it could be that you will experience several months of lost rent in between tenants as you do repairs and upgrades to the home, which will also cost you money that you don't consider when you are doing your calculations as to should I hold on to my property or should I sell it now? Vacancy factor is a very important consideration to make. Another important factor is market fluctuations. A lot of people assume when they're making their calculations that rents will continue to increase, but that is not always the case. Just ask landlords in San Francisco who faced a significant loss of rents when COVID came around. There was a prolonged and steep decrease in rental rates in San Francisco, which we are still recovering from. Another factor to consider is rent control. Now, California already has a form of rent control statewide, although it is a fairly mild form of rent control. But many municipalities have much stricter forms of rent control, like San Francisco, Berkeley, and Los Angeles. Now, if you live in an area where there is no strict rent control right now, you can't really relax because many municipalities are looking at implementing rent control throughout California. This, will, this is something you definitely want to consider if you've been assuming that you'll be able to charge ever higher rents for your home in California. There is no cut and dried way for every homeowner to know for sure if they should sell their home now or rent it out. But I do believe there are three primary considerations which you should be aware of. The first thing that homeowners really need to consider is how much appreciation their home has had over the past several years. Here in the Bay Area, home prices have been increasing more or less continuously since about 2011 or 13 years. In fact, there has been very strong home price appreciation over those 13 years. 
and home price appreciation lately has been far over the historical average. Many economists warn that home prices will return to their mean average, or in other words, their long-term historical average of home price appreciation, which would mean we'd be looking at a significant decrease in home prices at some point in the future. Right now, after so many years of home price appreciation, I would have to say the likelihood is greater that home prices will be going down rather than going up, and all homeowners who are thinking to rent out and then sell later need to take this into account. Another important factor to take into account are the capital gains taxes. As you know, a homeowner which lives in a home for at least two of the past five years can exclude up to $250,000 in capital gain when they sell. And if there are two homeowners who can claim that same exclusion, you can exclude up to $500,000 of capital gain when you go to sell your home. If you are thinking about selling, I suggest you do the calculation right now and see how close you are to that $500,000 exclusion limit. If you are more or less at that $500,000, it is a good idea to sell rather than renting because then you will take all of that money right now as tax-free dollars. And I would much rather have tax-free dollars than tax-deferred dollars any day. And the third important consideration is your personal tolerance for risk. Listen, if you are okay with the possibility that by waiting to sell your home, you could lose hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that is what you would be losing if we saw the market go down by 10, 15, 20, 30 percent. If you are okay with the possibility of losing that much money by waiting to sell your home, then by all means wait. But if you cannot afford to lose that money, then what are you waiting for? Right now, the market is really hot. You have a very good idea how much appreciation you have enjoyed, what your selling costs will be, and any capital gains tax. Why not just take your earnings off the table? Because right now is an amazing time to sell your home in the Bay Area. There is very little inventory out there, very little competition, and many sellers are getting multiple offers, fantastic terms, and having their home sell far over asking price, and in fact, much more than they ever thought they could receive. Listen, if you're on the fence about selling your home right now or waiting to rent it out, then I invite you to give me a call. My number is here at the bottom of the screen. Love to chat with you about your situation, and we can talk over the pros and the cons of renting your home out or selling it now. All right, that is all I have for this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if by any slim chance you have enjoyed watching this video, I'm guessing, and this is just a guess, you might also enjoy some of these videos over here. These are some of the most popular videos here on my YouTube channel, so please do take a look. All right, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and please stay tuned.